My name is Alex Moss, I'm Chairman of the EPRA Research Committee and I'd like to introduce the first EPRA Research Digest video. In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of our activities since the last EPRA conference in September. I'd like to begin by giving you a, a brief highlight of the three papers which we've published um, in the last few months, which are now available on the EPRA website. The first paper I'd like to highlight looks at the size effect on European listed real estate companies. In particular, does it impact their operational performance? The findings are very interesting that there is a benefit to larger companies, although there are some issues with regards to consolidation and diversification. The second paper we've published is equally topical and it looks at interest rate sensitivity. In particular, what is the general sensitivity to interest rates and what is the company specific impact? They find there is overall a very large uh, risk premium for higher interest rate sensitivity, but also that there are significant variances from company to company. The third paper I'd like to highlight is one on sustainability, an area of great interest to EPRA members. And the key finding here is there is a link between the higher level of sustainable properties and a higher level of rental income. We have also featured uh, another project which is undertaken by MSCI, which looked at the relationship between asset level returns and company level returns, i.e. share prices, and their findings confirmed our research findings, which we've published through the EPRA Research Committee, which at the fundamental driver of listed real estate returns is the underlying asset level return. We've commissioned three projects for the coming year, the first of which looks at debt diversification, one of the great impacts on corporate structure post-GFC has been the extent to which companies have sought to diversify their sources of debt. And this project will look specifically at the relationship between the diversification of debt and the company performance in European listed real estate companies. The second project we're financing looks at the very topical area of active versus passive fund management, in particular the role of ETFs in real estate securities fund management, how they're growing and what their impact is going to be on the sector going forward. The final project captures an area of capital structure that's of great interest to members at the moment, in particular share buybacks and special dividends. It'll be looking at what long-term impact share buybacks have on firm value across European listed real estate companies. In addition to the regular suite of monthly publications, we're looking at two areas in particular for new publications. One is on volatility and one is on consensus NAV forecasts, both of which should be of great interest to members. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Further details can be found in the email and on the EPRA website. And I look forward to seeing you all at the EPRA conference in London in September.